This section will focus on SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol, and how we can create a SOAP process in Atomsphere. SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. This is an older but still commonly used web service design model. It uses a simple XML-based communications protocol that allows applications to exchange information, usually over HTTP, HTTPS, JMS, or SMTP. It's both platform and software independent, and it's easily used in the presence of firewalls. A SOAP web service is most commonly implemented over HTTP and the protocol of SOAP. Username and password tokens are most often used, and it's paired with a WSDL. This is a file that describes SOAP messages and how they are exchanged. Unlike a RESTful web service, SOAP follows a standard specification, and its requests are verb-based using method calls. Before making requests to or from a web service, it's important for the sender to understand how to invoke the web service. This information is stored in the WSDL file and that allows the sender to understand what type of message needs to be sent to the receiver and how those responses will be returned. Once the sender understands how to interact with the web service, a request is made to the receiver. This request is in the form of a SOAP envelope, which includes a header and a body containing the XML details. The receiver then sends the response back to the sender. Although the request and response SOAP message will be unique based on the information sent and received from various web services, the overall message structure is the same. Each SOAP message will contain a required envelope that acts like a wrapper around the request or response main contents. Within an envelope, a message normally contains a header and a body. The optional header element contains application-specific information like authentication, payment, and so on about the SOAP message. If the header element is present, it must be the first child element of the envelope element. The required SOAP body element contains the actual SOAP message that's intended for the ultimate endpoint. The payload for a SOAP message often includes a word processing or PDF document, an image, or another binary file attachment using multipurpose internet mail extensions. Here's a sample XML SOAP request. The required SOAP envelope element is the root element of a SOAP message, and this element defines the XML document as a SOAP message. The optional header contains application-specific information, and if the header element is present, it must be the first child element in the envelope. The required SOAP body element contains the actual SOAP message, And in our example, we're invoking the get stock price method with a supplied stock name of Bockel Corp. Here's a sample XML SOAP response. This also contains the required envelope and body. But in our example, the get stock price response method returns a price value of 1435.
Within Atomsphere, we can utilize the Web Services SOAP client to establish our SOAP connectivity. In order to accomplish this, we need to provide a WSDL URL along with the SOAP endpoint URL. And we can utilize the Web Services SOAP operation to define the request and response profiles, which are easily created with a dynamic import. 